Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks for joining me. This is Lisa Monison with Olive Branch Home Studios. Today we are going to be making over this adorable student desk that I picked up off Facebook Marketplace. As you can see, it's in great condition other than the gouges that are on the top, which are superficial, and we can get that sanded out. The rest of the desk was very sound and in great shape. As you can see all the drawers work beautifully, and we're going to get started. I like to label all my drawers regardless of the project size. That way you know for sure what places they go. And here I am removing that hardware and getting these drawers prepped for the next step, which will be repairs, any repairs, and filling of the holes. The bottom of this was quite dated, so we decided to unscrew this piece and knock it out with a hammer. And then I had my husband jig out a more modern design for the base. Here, this edge needed a little repair on the middle student drawer center. Um, so we are repairing that and we'll get that nice and sanded before paint. One of the drawers needed a little bit of repair, so I'm getting some type on glue here and some of my clamps and we're going to go ahead and clamp some of that broken wood down. As I let repairs sit and dry, I got to scrubbing down this piece on the full body, inside, outside, making sure that the surface would be ready and prepped for paint. So I'm really scrubbing it down using my scrubby pad and my Heirloom Traditions Deglosser, and then drying it off with a towel, and I'm filling those holes for new hardware. Here was the paint I use in Tapestry from Heirloom Traditions All-in-One Paint. This is the ugly coat, as you can see also. I sanded, this is one coat, so it's very ugly. And you can see that I did sand the top down to bare wood. This is the beautiful wood that was underneath. Again, this is coat one of Tapestry. Now, after I got finished painting the drawer fronts, I didn't like how I could still see where that hardware was. So I ended up putting more putty and sanding and having to repaint the fronts of these. So, and here again is that top before I put on any stain. And here is the body again. This is still the first coat. This is aged wood by Verathane. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, you just brush it on your bare wood and it reacts like an acid to the wood and deepens it depending on what the wood is. So you can add more coats of it or leave it with the first coat. I used about two coats, I think, on here with a chip brush and then you just wipe it off. And then for the top coat, once that was fully dry, we added some polycrylic in satin to this piece. And here she is before the drawers were put in and with the final coats of tapestry throughout the entire body. And here are the new hardware on the drawer fronts that we did, along with new button knobs. I used Redesign with Prima's molds to create an epoxy resin rose flower raised relief on the front drawer. And here is the final result. I stenciled the sides of these drawers. We lined the insides, new hardware. The bottom is new and fresh, all in this tapestry color. We used putty for the white, that aged wood on the top with that polycrylic and satin, beautiful paper on the inside. Just adds a beautiful pop of color. And here are her final stage pictures. Thank you so much for sticking with me with this one. I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.